Hey peeps, welcome back or welcome if you are new. I hope everybody is doing absolutely fantastic. So today we're gonna to be looking into the Divine Soulmate Connection for the collective, for those of you where the masculine is involved in a third party situation, relationship, doesn't matter. It could even be that it's the feminine who is involved in another um, relationship or situation. So just take the messages as they make sense for you. And before we get started, I just want to make a quick little disclaimer, okay? So when I use the term karmic, all right, that is only to help us differentiate between the energies that we are referring to, okay? There is karma between you and the Divine Masculine, just as there is karma between the Divine Masculine and another person that they are involved with, okay, in a, in a relationship, all right? And the same is true just for about any significant relationship that you have in your life, all right? So there is nothing bad about being a karmic partner, all right? We've all been karmic partners and we are karmic partners to others. There is nothing wrong with that, okay? Even if the masculine divorces a spouse or breaks up with a partner, it doesn't automatically guarantee a union with a divine feminine like immediately or automatically, all right? Um, that's definitely a huge step, definitely. Um, but this journey is all about yourself and union is a byproduct of that. So what it requires is for both the masculine and the feminine to have reached their own um, potential from within, their own inner union, to be progressing forward in their own ascension until there is that alignment where where you can come together, okay? So just keep that in mind. I know that it... Okay, I know that it might sound a little bit um, negative, but it's not, okay? It's not. I would much rather, you know, say something that is truthful or you know it doesn't have to resonate with everybody you know just keep what resonates with you and you can disregard anything else but this is what i've been feeling guided to tell you and i'd rather say it than to just sugarcoat things which most of you know i don't do which leads me to the second thing i wanted to say is that i don't do these readings to keep anybody hooked on on their divine masculine i don't do it to keep anybody stuck and and have false hope okay actually um, my intention behind it is just to help you on your path so looking into the energies between the masculine and the karmic partner is just meant to help give you more insight and a deeper understanding of the situation okay but i do also feel like the most important messages will come through when we look into the um, energies for the feminines okay so just keep that in mind and yeah with all of that said thank you to everybody who's been supporting me for all your comments your likes um subscriptions the personal readings i do appreciate it so so much okay so let's get into it and as always I will start by looking into the masculine's energy. We'll look at their energy towards the karmic situation, their energy towards the feminine, the feminine's energy, as well as what is coming up. Okay, so let's see what is going on with the masculines. What do we need to know? All right, we have Angel of Balance. All right, let me just get a few more because I actually feel like um, what's coming through here is not so much that they are in balance as much as it is that they are really trying to find some balance. So let's see. All right, so we have a solitude received and fresh start. All right, so yeah, they're trying to find some balance by actually taking some time um, alone to themselves. I feel like they're pulling back from other people in their lives. They're um, really spending a lot of time alone because I feel I actually feel like there's a lot of anxiety at the moment with the masculines. Um, we'll see what comes up though in the tarot as well. But the reason why they are spending time alone trying to find that balance is because they've received the message from the universe that there needs to be a fresh start. Something needs to 
change something needs to begin again from the beginning they need to have a fresh new start in their lives so let's get let's get into the tarot and see so there are general energy towards Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. They're all in reverse. The Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Cups all in reverse. Okay, so... It feels like there's a, like I said, there's a lot of anxiety here, right? Even with this Knight of Swords, it's like a restlessness, okay? So it doesn't feel as stressful, maybe, as other times. At least it's not coming through in that way yet. But there's also this... Um, releasing of a fear, releasing of a fear, I feel when it comes to, to communicating, to communicating their truth to the karmic partner. And this is something that I feel like they've been wanting to do for a very long time. I feel like it has been something that um, has been building up is to really speak their truth, to find that courage because they do know how they feel and it's all about speaking the truth of you know like you know i kind of feel like the party's over like this connection is done like i'm not happy i don't feel like there can ever be a reconciliation um within this dynamic to go back to how things used to be at the same time though with that knight of swords to be honest i'm also kind of getting that um That the way that this is manifesting i feel like they haven't communicated that yet okay and that's why it's in reverse um it's actually that they are not not being very um they're not being very straightforward at the moment with with the karmic partner and at the same time i feel like they might even be a little bit disrespectful in some aspects which is something that they will also need to kind of um overcome let's see what else and i will clarify So for their headspace, we have the Sun in reverse, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, very interesting that they're all in reverse. Uh, so I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of discontentment here. There's a lot of just um, almost like a, a rejection kind of an energy towards this, uh, towards this connection here. Um, like, again, with the Sun being right under the, the Knight of Swords, both in reverse, this is them actually knowing that they have not been honest, that they have not been speaking their truth. Not only that, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So again, this is them not putting in effort. And I feel like it's actually not having been honest about, or maybe not even, not even that, but not living up to an effort that was expected of them. An effort towards this relationship, towards making it work. And it's like at the moment, yeah, they're not putting in effort, which goes back to me saying, you know, like it's a little bit disrespectful in the sense of, okay, well, if you're not putting in effort and you are so, you are so unhappy here, the four of cups, you feel like this is just, you know, it's something that cannot work out. Like there's just a lot of boredom. There's a lot of indifference, even in their attitude, that in and of itself is disrespectful. You know, at least be honest about how you feel, express it, and then see where that takes you. I feel like that is um, one of the messages that is um, being presented right now to the masculines by the divine. And that is the message that they are actually receiving, which is pushing them towards, towards a new start. And, but yeah, they have to find, that's what this balance is about then. They have to find this balance within themselves when it comes to, you know, how am I treating this other person? And I know some of you might feel like, well, the karmic deserves it, or well, you know, um, the karmic is also choosing to be there. And that is true. That is very true. That the karmic is also choosing to be there. It doesn't matter though, okay? We're talking about the masculine and the masculine's behavior. Nobody, I mean, no matter what the um, other person has done, okay, the karmic partner, it doesn't mean that the masculine can just be disrespectful 
and also dishonest. So let's see, let's see what else. Let's get one more row, see what is going on emotionally. We have Strength in Reverse, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Ten of Swords in Reverse. All right, yeah, see, so this is all about, again, I feel like there is some communication that is like just kind of lurking in the air. It's just kind of there, and they're being pushed towards having this very, very honest conversation about the fact that, you know, this is done and, and that there's this issue with letting it go. Um, it's all about them actually gaining that strength, which to me, strength is also about balance. All right, it's finding that balance between strength and also compassion. Um, how much you can set boundaries, how much you can, you know, find that inner power, but also be compassionate at the same time. And at the moment, it's like the the um, compassion is is missing when it comes to the energy towards the karmic partner. It's not there. Okay, at least for this group that I am tapping into. Um, and if it was there, you know, well, then they would have been honest and they would have, you know, done what is best for everybody. Because if they're not feeling this love for the karmic partner and there are no love cards out on the table other than the Three of Cups, which is actually in reverse. And that's not even a big love card anyway. Um, yeah, it's not being very compassionate when you don't or loving when you are not expressing how you truly feel and you are treating this person um, a bit disrespectfully because you're either lashing out or because you just, you know, are irritable because of the situation that you have kept yourself in, which is something that you feel like it is done, but you're still holding on to it. Okay. So, and I, I'm saying you, but I'm, I'm referring to the masculines. Okay. So there is this desire with, within them emotionally to have this conversation, to really take action on the fact that, you know what, this is done and we're not letting it go. But it's, again, it's like they haven't felt that courage to actually go, go through with it. Um, but again, that's why I feel like at the moment, you know, they're taking some time alone in one way or another, even if they live in the same house with this person. Let me just move them over. Actually, yeah, before I clarify anything, let's um, let's see the masculine's energy towards their feminine, and then I'll clarify. All right, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. Okay, so again, so this is a message for the feminines that yes, you know, the, the masculines are taking small steps. They are, it's like they're taking small steps and moving in the direction of love. All right, regardless of where you're at on your journey, regardless of what, you know, you, you might think they're doing or whether you want them to or not, because I know a lot of you are, you know, trying to move on from it and that's actually a good thing. All right, but this is just the message here that they are really seeing the truth of this connection. And I feel like they're releasing fears when it comes to the love that they feel for their feminine. Because that, you know, that that was something that they were really holding on to in the past was a lot of fear about the love that they felt um, concerning the intensity of the emotions that they had for the feminine. Here, it's like they're, they're allowing themselves to see the truth. They're opening up to that. Let's see what else. Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles all in reverse. There's a lot of frustration here, I feel, with that Knight of Wands. I feel 
like for the masculine, this is a lot of um, frustration or possibly even some um, anxiety, maybe a little bit of, maybe even a little bit of jealousy when it comes to you possibly having um, other options. And I feel like for, for a lot of the masculines, you know, it's also that they might be having illusions of of what you might be doing or of you being in another relationship and you being, you know, um, very fulfilled or, or really happy. And, and it's not that they don't want your happiness. It's not that they don't want your happiness. Um, but there's a lot of frustration concerning the fact that you might have these other options and that they may have kind of released you, kind of like allowed allowed the situation to get to the point of you actually considering other options here. That's how this is coming through. And I know that that's, you know, not going to be the case for all of you. Um, but this is kind of like how the masculine is thinking of the situation. Let me get one more row and I will clarify because I feel like there's there's another message here. This could just be for a specific group of you. All right, the nine of swords in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, and the knight of swords. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely a lot of anxiety here, a lot of stress here. Um, I feel like actually they're having a crazy amount of stress for the for the feminine right now, concerning the feminine, um, because they're afraid. <laughs> it's interesting. I got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse right under that Seven of Cups. Um, yeah, it's like there's this anxiety that you might not be single for long anymore, or that you might just not be that you might not be available, and that you might be the one to actually move away from this. This is making them very, very irritable. And I feel like that might be part of what is going on with them and the karmic partner as well. Like it's, it's, it's affecting them. But of course, you know, they, they cannot break off the connection with the karmic partner based off of jealousy for the divine feminine. Like th that would not be um, a sound reason. And so either the universe will block that from happening or it just won't work, okay? Because the masculine, when they're ready, they need to reach that point of finding that courage to leave the connection because they themselves are not happy in it because it does not align with who they are anymore. And at the same time, also to keep, so that they're not treating someone else in a way that is not um respectable so let's see what we can clarify here you know what? i actually just want to clarify the um just that just that top row uh the top row as a as a combo The Three of Cups showing up again, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. All right, as clarifiers for these cards here, which are actually in reverse. So what I'm actually getting here is that um, this is what they are. It's like they're backing out. As I said, you know, that they're, it, it feels like there's this rejecting of the, of the connection. It's like the same message coming through here. It's like taking away that affection, not only the, uh, the affection and um, the emotions, but I feel like it's also a lack of um, sexual interaction, okay, for the most part. And again, as I said, you know, they're releasing this fear that they had when it came to um, how to express all of this and to actually be who they feel like they truly are, you know, that it's okay to not be happy in this. Do something about it. You can't force something that's just not there. Yeah, 
you know, I actually feel like like we're good. So let me move on to the to the feminines. So I feel like basically right now, if I am to clarify, we're just going to get a confirmation of what I've already said, and I don't want to be repeating myself. So the spirit's like, you you got the messages. So feminines. All right, we have woman holding a coin. Okay, let me get just a few more. Okay, and we also have self-worth, we have numbing, and we have mirroring. All right. So the message here is that, first of all, I feel like for the, for the most part, the feminines are really working on their own self. You're really boosting your sense of self-worth. You're finding your true self, which is automatically going to boost your, your sense of self-worth. Um, but there's also a message here to be careful that you're not numbing certain parts of this connection out, that you're not numbing out certain um, emotions in order to give yourself that sense of self-worth because in that case it's not going to be genuine and not only that it's also mirrored back to the masculine and it goes both ways all right and it's kind of like somebody has to break that chain because it's very easy to do certain things um to give ourselves a sense of self-worth and if it's not really based on truth it can sometimes you know backfire a little bit as well so just be mindful of that but for the most part i do feel like you you are working on your own self you are working on your own um independence you're working on finding you know your your strengths from within and standing strong and just really making life happen for you regardless regardless of the, what the masculine is doing, okay? Even if you're in contact, even if you're not in contact, it doesn't matter. I'm even getting that for some of you. Um, you might be entering new relationships and that's totally, totally okay. Um, if anything, you know, for a lot of you, that's actually, um, I feel like it's divinely guided, okay? And it's gonna be for different reasons, okay? There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, just as the masculine's karmic partner, is also a karmic partner to you, okay, because there are lessons in it for you as well. Um, in the same way, when you have another partner, there's also lessons in that for the masculine. It kind of goes both ways. All right, so yes, that can be actually, it could be that some of you are actually guided um, towards that, but always follow your, your intuition because I also get that, um, that for some of you it might be a way of numbing all right so if you feel like you are entering another relationship just to kind of numb out your emotions and the situation with the masculine you know just kind of explore that a little bit to see if that really is in your highest good all right so let's see All right, so we have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Fool in Reverse. I feel like, you know, this is your energy, if this is your energy towards the masculine, this is you feeling like, you know, you, you had been waiting for this offer to come in, you had been waiting for this love to come in only to be left disappointed, to be, um, left being being alone and you know not being able to have this new life with the masculine all right and it's like the fool in reverse is the exact opposite of that fresh start card that they have so it's like you for a lot of you you're like releasing this hope you're releasing the hope with the masculine but you know just be careful that you're not taking on the victim role and it's okay to sulk a little bit and you know have a pity party that's completely completely okay um for for a little while but just make sure you don't get stuck in that is what i'm getting here let's see what else i probably will clarify some of these for the feminines and it's 
also interesting because I the the second message I'm getting here is that for it's what I said before that for some of you this is someone new who may be presenting themselves to your life but be careful that you're not that you're not jumping into this impulsively because you feel alone or because you feel disappointed okay I feel like that's a very strong message coming through um, for the feminines today okay it's not going to be for all of you but just for those of you who might need to hear that and again there's nothing wrong with um, exploring a new relationship just be mindful of your um, of the drive okay the driving force behind that for some of you all right so let's see what else we got here we have the hermit we have the eight I think it's the eight. yes it's the eight of pentacles in reverse the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, interesting combination. So yeah, I feel like, you know, it's interesting because there's a little bit of a mirroring here where, you know, the masculine is in solitude and then here you have the Hermit showing up. Um, the masculines also have the eight of pentacles in reverse when it comes to the karmic partner so again it's that mirroring that sometimes you know the way that you the way that you energetically respond to the masculine that is how the masculine work will energetically respond to the karmic partner now that does not mean that you actually control what the masculine does it's just that there's this natural mirroring and it can also go both ways all right it's not exactly control so it's 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 difficult to explain um, but it's that oftentimes, you know, there is this reflection there where it's like your higher self is also trying to show you, you know, what it is that you, that you need to put more effort into, right? Um, just like the masculine might have to put an effort into something, you have to put an effort into something else here whether that be your inner soul searching or spending time alone or allowing yourself to have some um, alone time to really process certain emotions and not just try to bypass them by, by numbing in whatever way. It doesn't have to be with another um, relationship. It could be in any way, just distracting yourself. And I feel like what this actually is is that oftentimes... Um, we might even you might even be trying to um distract yourself with other things or like trying to force yourself in order to release control and the message that i'm actually getting is that actively trying to release control is a form of control just allow things to be I feel like the message here is, yeah, you know, you might need to put effort into certain areas, but then there are other things that you don't need to put effort into. If you try too hard to release this connection or to, to release the feelings that you feel, because here's that connection, right, with the masculine, the two of cups, and then here's you with the queen of cups, as the queen of cups in reverse, almost like denying those emotions. So if you are trying to, in whatever way, distract yourself or numb these emotions out it could be a sign that you are trying too hard and when you're trying too hard it's just it's not going to work so i know that came out a little bit um <laughs> mixed stuff but but that's the that's the gist of the of the message that i'm getting here is you don't need to try so hard to move forward in your life you don't need to try so hard to release the connection. If you feel something, allow yourself to feel it because that's the only way you can actually move forward is by actually facing it. You can't just skip over it. You can't just take a shortcut out because you distracted yourself either with another relationship or with, um, I don't know, just anything else. And again, it doesn't mean that if you are exploring another relationship that you are <laughs> um, numbing or that you are bypassing steps, okay? It does not necessarily mean that. You could be doing that and it could be the, the best thing for you and in your highest good, okay? You have to be make your own discernment about that. I'm just being called to point this out 
just for those who might um, who might need to hear it. So actually, yeah, I feel like that's enough. Let's um, let's see what's coming up. So in the next week or so, the masculines towards the heart situation or partner. have the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Tower. All right, wow. I feel like that's that conversation coming up, a conversation based on truth. And there's that compassion, okay, the Queen of Cups. This is them being honest about how they truly feel. Um, honest about what it is that they, that they want, what it is that their soul has been asking for and guiding them towards. Obviously they might not say it in those words, um, but I definitely feel like this is a major conversation that is coming up or that they're at least being guided towards. Being very honest and also um, there's that compassion coming through that I was talking about before, you know, which is about finding that balance and also being emotionally balanced as well as um, connected to their intuition, connected to their higher self, speaking from the heart. And yeah, that conversation is not going to be an easy one, all right? We have the tower here. That conversation, if anything, can lead to a tower, to things being um, destroyed within this connection, things having to just come apart in order for there to be that fresh start um, in both of their lives, actually. So yeah, next couple of weeks, I feel like there's going to be a major conversation or an expression of, of the masculine's emotions and actually from the karmic side as well, okay? But <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely not going to be an easy one. So I do feel like the masculines are going to go through um, a pretty difficult, pretty difficult week or two coming up. All right, so let's see their energy towards their feminine. Alright, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Okay. This is a very interesting combination um, for the masculine's energy towards their feminine, alright, in the near future. This is definitely a sense of, you know, not being not being there in the physical, all right, with the Ten of Pentacles being in reverse. Um, and they know that. They know that this is something, though, that they want victory over, all right, with the Six of Wands being there. This is a lot of feeling that determination to, to win because, like I said, they're now really aware of their emotions. I feel like there is no fear when it comes to their emotions here. Okay, we have the King of Cups showing up here. This is a lot of emotional stability and also a lot of love towards their feminine. Now we also have the Eight of Cups. And this is all about, yes, emotionally detaching, but emotionally detaching from what does not serve the masculine. All right, what no longer serves you. So I'm actually going to clarify that. Although I do know what this is about, I honestly feel like this is, <clears throat> this is about their fears when it comes to the connection, which is basically what I was saying um, in the beginning here allowing themselves to fully feel what they feel without the negativity, without the fear. Leaving behind anything that was not serving this connection. But yes, uh, again, with the Ten of Pentacles being in reverse, this is spirit, you know, just <laughs> making sure that this doesn't mean that the masculine is um, coming forward with an offer just yet. They still have to process that tower that is coming up. Okay. All 
right, so we have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Hermit, which showed up in reverse. Although it doesn't matter at the moment for the clarifiers. So there's a lot of, I feel, it's like leaving behind anything from the past that was deceitful. That's what this is about. And part of that, yes, can be fear. Whatever it was that was not serving them, whatever it was that caused them to have this um, deceitful or avoidance type of a behavior, that is what they are leaving behind. It's kind of like things are new in the way that they are viewing the, the feminine here. And this all comes about the, with the... Um, from really having gone within, as we had seen from previous readings. And I feel like this is this is actually the result of that. This is also leaving behind um, the that need to withdraw from the feminine. All right, so this Eight of Cups here, it's leaving behind these three energies. All right, whatever it is from the past that was not serving. Anything that was, as I said, deceitful, sneaky, avoiding, escapism, as well as ghosting, being reserved, um, you know, not really communicating, being closed off to, to their own self. And because of that, this is why we have this King of Cups here. So I don't see much action um, coming up in the next week or so towards the, towards the feminine. This is mostly of this emotion, emotion-based, which is actually, I feel, a big step to have finally released a fear attached to the emotions, the intensity of the emotions that they feel towards their feminine. All right, so let's just get <clears throat> any messages that want to come through for the feminines coming up or guidance. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Two of Wands. I also have the Ace of Swords in reverse kind of pop out here, so I'll just put it there. All right, so. Okay, so this is a message actually for, again, for some of you, okay? For those of you, <laughs> it's actually, I feel, for the same group of feminines that I was referring to before when it comes to... Um, to numbing and what this is saying it's you know make sure that you are not rushing any process okay there's no need to rush um, moving forward there's no need to rush healing you cannot rush healing okay so take your time and move move steadily all right the page of wands in reverse you know make sure that it's not just that you're not being impulsive um, in the negative sense when it comes to jumping into something new, okay, whatever that is, whether it be jumping into something new or whether it be using distractions, anything, okay, um, again, and then with the two of wands, it's like, you know, again, this essence of taking your time, okay, take your time when it comes to something in your life, you, you might know what I'm talking about, Okay, because it's going to be different for each of you. Make sure that it is in alignment with your truth, all right, with this Ace of Swords. Make sure that whatever it is that you are doing, at least to the best of your knowledge, take your time. Because it, for some of you, again, you know, it might be that you are rushing a process here that might not end up serving you. And there is no mistakes, you know. <clears throat> it's okay, even if that happens, you can still get back on track. But this is just just the message here and guidance that might actually um, help you to make this path a little bit easier for you. Okay, so just take that message if it resonates for you. Don't worry about it if it doesn't. And yeah, let's, let's get our final messages here. Alright, 
So we have, okay, we have the disseminating moon, which is take time to breathe out. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. Take time to breathe. Take time to just, you know, fully process what is going on. You don't need to rush anything. So let me get, because I feel like that was really for, for the feminines. Let's get one for the masculines. So for the masculines, we actually got two. We have be bold and make the first move, which is the cardinal moon. And it's time to release negativity, which is the full moon in Scorpio. Yeah, so <laughs> this is exactly what I was saying for the for the masculines before, that they have this negativity, like being disrespectful towards the karmic partner. This is them actually reaching that point of being able to release that in order to be able to be bold and make that first move, especially when it comes to that communication, all right, um, that they're having with the karmic partner. And it will be a big first move towards, towards that tower and ultimately that fresh start. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.